another year. And my stepfather asked me, uh, okay, I'm making a choice, uh, New York or LA? I said, are you joking? This is the 80s. I said, like, LA, baby. You know, I mean, I was a Dodger fan before I lived in LA. So, why, why did you, choice? Well, how, what was the choice on? He was going. He could he'd either go to New York or LA. He go to LA. Like, set up job. Oh, is that right? Yeah. So he left that to you and your. Did you or to you and your me. brother? Just me. Okay. My your brother, brother stayed with your father. Yeah, he stayed long, and um, <clears throat> I was like, LA? Are you joking? <laughs> I mean, is that you know? Are you, are you kidding? And um, yeah, that was a whole different trip. I mean, but you're out of school. Were you out of school by now? Right. No, sir. I was 15. 15, okay. So where'd you go to school in LA? I went to Culver City, Culver which City, is West okay. Side. Yes, I'm from Los Angeles. Right, right. Yeah, okay. I, I'm aware. Um, right. uh, I, I lived where, where our apartment was was Mar Vista. Okay, Mar Vista. Yeah, it's, which is Culver City, Marina Del Rey, Venice, right. and Santa Monica. Which oh, I loved it. It's, it's everything like you dream of these things. And even in school in Memphis, like, uh, see if you, okay, everybody's going to be cool. And and I went there, and there, I was like, I'm the coolest guy here. Come on, guys. <laughs> and people were looking. I mean, there were some, you know, weird out people, right, but right. I was like, man, I'm not, what? I thought everybody's like dancing. Right, and it's right, all right. cool. Right. And then it was, but there's cliques, very strong cliques. So you have the cholos, you know, right, which right. Mexican gangsters, right. and the cholas have eyebrows right, like right, that. Right. And, you have the hip-hop kids you have the heavy metal kids you have like the punk kids you have the new wave kids and um they, they were really cliquish but what got me at, like i'd go to the un of all these cliques okay. what it was was first um first period was physical education everybody was there yeah now if it's if it's later in the day i'd be more than happy to join but it was the first period and I'd done my hair and I'm dressed up and I don't want to be sweaty the rest of the day. So we'd go into the bleachers. So it'd be me and a couple of heavy metal guys, some cholos, kind of like, you know. I gotcha, I gotcha, and yeah. we would all have to hang out. Some of them were smoking something. And, you yeah, know, I'm not going to go in detail. Right, right, right. Uh, you know, but we got to become friends. So like I'd walk around, you know, at lunchtime or whatever, and my cholo's like, hey, Shannon, what's up? And I'm like, hey, what's up, dude? And like, his friends are like, man, you know the guy. They're like this. Then the same thing with heavy metal guy, like, hey, man, you know, and they're like, dude. Yeah. But it was really cool in that way. Yeah. And you just make your way. You, you learn how it works. And But it was, yeah, it was Did incredible. you stay through that school till you graduated? Yes, sir. And then after that, what'd you do? Did you go into college or you decided to? I didn't college? right away go to college. Okay. That was later. Right. Um, Wow, that was. I did so many jobs. I, when I first moved to Memphis, when I was ten, eleven during that summer was my first job, mm -hmm. and it was with Japanese kids who were about my age. Doing what? Well, there's Shark Corporation in East Memphis, and um, I was going to. Uh, my mom put me in an um, acting class. You know, just, it was fun, um, and uh, it turned out that the, one of the heads of that had a summer program for these kids, but a lot of the kids. From Sharp were Japanese kids and could not really speak English, and they asked me to. Help. So did you picked up some? You picked up some Japanese anyway. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, right, of course. Uh, and it was also a natural Japanese. It right. wasn't like what talk she know, you right, know. Right, it was right. like it was natural, right? Yeah. So because the Japanese kids, that's how I learned in TV. There was no Miss Moore and other more great, but yeah, that's how I learned. But um, yeah, I, I uh, let's see. I did a lot of jobs, and I think that I got a lot out of it. Uh, one of the real good jobs I had, or great jobs actually, I worked at a music store at Beverly Center, and it was a huge store, and every day, at least three or four celebrities would come in, because mm -hmm. that's where they'd shop that's for right. records. That's right. And I knew my music, because I was in making music and working in bands and right. stuff, and I, w I knew what was cool. What instruments you, were you playing? Now I play bass and keyboards, okay. and I used to write by keyboards, and I'd have a guitar player and stuff like that. Where'd so you I, learn music? Self-taught, um, also, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, a lot of people, like the Beatles could not read music. I know that, I know that. Like, no, I, some of the, your best musicians sometimes are the people that have picked it up by ear right. first. Well, my my, mm -hmm. my biological father loves the blues, and he's just like, even today, he always plays, have uh, different musicians. Music was always around us. Pleasure,